when you think of a man who is masculine, you can probably come up with an image in your head right now. It's a man who is strong. It's a man who is disciplined, purpose-driven, goal-driven. He's a man who protects and provides for a family. And these are all great things. These are all very masculine things, of course. And to be honest, we, you and I, we should be striving to achieve this. We should be striving to be stronger, have bigger muscles, look better. Striving to be goal-driven, purpose-driven, be a man on a mission. And me personally, I'm striving to be a provider and a protector for my future family. Of course, that is a very masculine thing. But there are dudes like this. They protect, they provide, they're disciplined, they're strong, they look masculine. Maybe they have freaking tattoos all over their body and they're just like this alpha looking Chad stud. But at the end of the day, they're missing this one key component of masculinity. And that is emotional control. They lack emotional control. They're very reactive and emotional. And I'm sorry, if you don't have control over your emotions, you're weak. You are not masculine. You may look the part. You may have all this money and provide for a family and da 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 da, but you're weak. You overreact, you blow up over the littlest thing that means nothing. So to be honest with you, at its true, raw core, we'll call it, what I believe masculinity is and what I believe being more masculine is, is to be unbothered by your thoughts, your emotions, things around you, your environment, people, you're unchanged by these things. You're a rock. You have emotional control. And growing up, let me tell you a story. Growing up, I was the opposite of this. I was very reactive, very emotional. And I was conditioned to be this way, to be honest. We all are. And that's the problem with today's society. We're so conditioned to be weak, feminine, little pussies. And so I had a friend group back then, back in middle school, and my nickname was Bitchy. They would literally call me Bitchy because of the fact that I was so emotional and reactive. It was like me and three other friends plus my younger brother. And we'd all be, back when kids used to play outside, right? Before like the iPad and iPhone took over the world. So, you know, it was a wholesome experience. We're all playing freaking tackle football and whatever, flashlight tag and all those fun games when we were kids. But I literally was known as bitchy. Like, it's like, that's straight up bullying if you think about it. Like, I was bullied in a, in a way. I mean, whatever. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I was bullied, but damn, man, imagine if you were called bitchy. It's not a fun thing to go through, all right? It sucked. And then it made it worse because I would react to them calling me that. Instead of being unbothered by it, instead of just being chill and calm. No, I would blow up. Ah, don't call me that. Fuck you. Ah, why are you calling me that? I'm not bitchy. But like, the fact that I was reacting proved their point. I was. So to be honest, I've come a long way in this regard. In being more masculine. I'm not the most masculine guy out there. No, of course, it's a lifelong journey. But I've definitely cultivated more of an ability to control my emotions. Now, to give you an extreme example of what I'm talking about, if you've ever seen the movie Casino Royale, the first James Bond movie with the, like, the Daniel Craig series, and in this movie, James Bond is getting whipped in the nuts. He's getting tortured, and the bad guy is literally whipping him in the nuts with a whip. And one of the most badass freaking scenes of all time, if I can show it, I will. But essentially James Bond is unreactive. He's not emotional. Of course it hurts, so he's like screaming in pain, but he doesn't plead and beg for this guy to stop. Instead, he accepts it and he literally makes a joke to the dude like, oh, you missed a spot, a little to the left, please. When he hit him in the nuts, he's like, a little to the left. He essentially showed the dude that he wasn't going to back down and that this wasn't shit. He could get hit in the nuts all day long. This guy was going to have to do something else. I've got the ledge. Down there. Would you mind? Oh, no! To the right! To the right! You are a funny man, Mr. Bond. Ah! I know that's a very extreme example. 
and we're never going to be in that situation, I hope. But if you take everyday life, okay, say going outside in, it's like right now, it's snowy as fuck out. If I were to go outside and just like immediately be like, oh, I'm so cold. It's so cold out. Oh my gosh. That's emotional. That's reactive. That's weak. That's feminine. To be masculine, I would go outside and I would own it. It is cold. Sure. I'm not going to complain about it. What is complaining going to do? Nothing. The other example I have too is imagine you're walking down the street and all of a sudden you hear a loud noise. Maybe it's just like a loud bang. It could be nothing, but you just hear a loud noise. The guy who is not masculine is going to immediately turn his head. Huh, what was that? Huh, he's, he's chaotic. He's sporadic. He has no control. He's just, oh my gosh. He's, he's changed by his environment. He's letting outside circumstances affect him. The guy who is masculine will casually, slowly look over, examine the situation, make sure he's not in any danger. And maybe he was just like a car hit a mailbox on the way by or something, something silly. He's not in danger. So he just casually looks over. He doesn't sporadically look, oh my gosh, what is that? <gasps> this may sound silly, but like that is what it means to have masculine energy. You're unchanged, you're still, you're calm, calm, cool, collected. And your body language shows this through that example I just explained where it's like, this, the masculine man may not even look over. He may, he may just keep on going about his day. He doesn't care. He's unchanged. And you may find this cringy, but like, dude, it feels so good to be more masculine, to exude this type of energy. When you step into your masculine energy, it feels so much better than living a life of feminine weakness. Because I've been that guy and I hated that guy. When I used to smoke weed, all right, and I was addicted to nicotine as well, I was vape, smoking nicotine. I was so irritable all the time. When I wasn't high, I was just like irritable, reactive. One little thing could go wrong. I'd drop a fork on the ground and I'd blow up. Oh, what the hell? Like get all pissed, like swear and freak out. Emotional, reactive. Maybe I drop my food on the ground and yeah, that sucks, of course. I drop my bowl of cereal on the ground or whatever. And or I drop a freaking burger on the floor and now it's all ruined and I can't eat it. Back then, I would have blown the F up. Nowadays, I've gotten better to where it's like, okay, it is what it is. I'm not going to react. I'm just going to casually pick up the burger and make myself a new one. Because what can you do about it? After it happens, there's nothing you can do. It already happened. All you can control is how you respond to the situation. You see, masculinity, masculine men, they respond. They do not react. They respond accordingly. It's funny, recently, like I said, I am not perfect. Okay, and recently, last week actually, I had a men's league basketball game. I play once a week. And I, was, I had a bad attitude that day. I was playing bad, I wasn't really making shots, I was missing layups too, like just playing horrible. And I was letting this affect my mood. I was letting it affect my game. You could see it on my face. My, parent, my dad told me this, my girlfriend told me this, that I looked miserable out there. And at the same time, I was being emotional. I was, every time the ref made a call, I was you know, complaining, <laughs> being, a, being a little bitch, all right? Being a little bitch. I was feminine that day. I was not masculine. I did not display masculinity at all. So yesterday I had another game and I reminded myself before the game, dude, be unchanged, be unbothered by whatever the ref calls, be unbothered by however many shots you miss, have a next play mentality. And so I did and I played way better. I played way better. I was stoic out there. I was a rock. I was making my shots. I had a good attitude. I was up, I was upbeat energized. The ref made a bad call one time and I did slightly react. It happened one time yesterday. I, I did react because, oh, it was a horrible call. The guy whacked me and he didn't call. It was a no call. But anyway, I made progress. And this is what I want you to do in your everyday life. Think to yourself when something little happens, think to yourself, how can I respond to this? Instead of being emotional, how can I just respond as a masculine man would. And the more times you do this, the better you get at it. 
and the more masculine you become. Obviously, chances are you're a young man watching this channel. You're not providing for a family, so you're not displaying that level of masculinity, but you can work on your character. You can work on your emotional control. Oh yeah, the last example I wanted to give you is, so back when I worked at FedEx, you may know that I worked there. Um, it's a big factory facility. Uh, I used to load boxes into trucks so that the truck drivers could then go deliver the boxes to neighborhoods and to houses and to people. And usually what would happen is a truck would show up late. Well, well, sometimes it would happen. The truck would show up late, the one that we had to unload and then load into the trucks that were going out and delivering. And so one day there was a trailer, we call it trailers actually, a trailer was late, which means we were gonna have to work an extra hour that day. And I remember the news spreading around the building and everyone was like getting all pissed, like, oh, come on, I don't wanna stay another hour. This blows. Everyone's getting reactive and, and emotional and complaining. And this is back when I first learned about emotional control and masculinity and like what it means to actually be a man. And I was so proud of myself because I was one of the only dudes in that facility who was unchanged. I was unbothered by the news of, oh, we're gonna have to work an extra hour. To me, this is what I thought. It is what it is. What am I gonna do about it? Cry, complain? No. Sure, on the inside, you could be feeling pissed. You could be feeling upset that you have to work another hour. And maybe I did back then, I don't remember. But I didn't display that. I displayed an it is what it is attitude. I displayed masculinity. Oh, I feel like so many people are gonna be, oh man, you're such a big man, you think you're so masculine. I'm like, no, dude, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that I'm super masculine. I'm trying to say that this is what I believe masculinity is, and this is what I do to become more masculine, and this is what you should do to become more masculine. Like. It's obvious, bro. We all need this. I literally just got done telling you a little bit ago that I still react sometimes and I'm emotional, but I'm working at it. Now I want you to work at it. It's made my relationship 10 times better because coming into this recent relationship, well, I've been in it for a couple of years now, but like this is the most masculine I've ever been in a relationship and our polarity is there, our attraction is there because I'm more masculine, she is now more feminine. This is how attraction works. You step into your masculine side, now you can have an actual feminine woman in your life. So many guys are right here, they're weak themselves, they're feminine, they're like, oh, I want a feminine woman. Like, dude, you don't deserve a feminine woman. You're not even masculine yourself, you gotta work on yourself first. My previous relationships, I was feminine. I was weak, and they all sucked. The girls all ended up leaving me. Having this calm, stoic demeanor is an attractive energy. You exude just this good vibe, this good energy. You're still, you're unchanged. It's attractive. It's how men should be. This modern day tries to tell us that we should be weak, that we should open up and we should bitch to the world about our feelings. When did that ever get you anywhere? It doesn't. It only makes you more unattractive. People don't actually give a fuck about your problems. Don't. Don't listen to that shit. Just face your problems yourself, deal with them. And the next time something in your life happens, like I already said, pause before you react and recognize, oh shit, instead of reacting to this, maybe your favorite sports team just lost. Instead of blowing up and getting all upset, oh, they just lost, like dude, you had no control over that game anyway. You're on the couch watching. Instead of reacting, think to yourself, yeah, it is what it is, they lost. They'll get them next time. It's the little things like this, they all add up. And it'll carry over into the rest of your life. Now before I end the video, there are two things that actually really helped my masculine energy, I'll say. Semen retention, being the first one. All right, when you're holding in your life force energy, you're holding in that nut, you become more masculine, I'm telling you right now. I feel more like a man, I do. And you've maybe experienced this yourself, but it's like, I have more I have this more calm demeanor about myself. I'm less like that sporadic dude who's, who hears a loud noise and is like, oh my gosh, what is that? No, I'm just like more centered, I'm more grounded, as men should be. The second thing that helped me is meditation. Now you're like, oh, maybe I should meditate now because it makes me more masculine. Like, dude, of course, think about it. You're learning how to be in the present moment. You're learning how to be still. You're learning how to be that rock. Every time you sit there for five minutes and focus on just your breath, that's what you're doing. You're also increasing your consciousness so now next time some little thing happens, you have the ability to recognize, oh shit, I shouldn't react to that. I should instead respond. 
So with that said, let me, uh, I'll actually make a full video on how to master and control your emotions. So stay tuned for that. And with that said, hope this video helped, bro. Much love. I will see you in the next video. Peace.